talking to Dr. Sharon Cohen, neurologist and director of the Toronto Memory Program, also one of the lead clinical trials, uh, led one of the clinical trials for this drug. Thanks for being with us today. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. Talk to me about the clinical trials. What sort of results did you see from this drug? Yeah, so I've been involved in both the phase two and the phase three pivotal study that led to approvals in more than 50 countries around the world, uh, including in Canada now. Um, and there is also a prevention study going on with the same drug. What we saw in the phase three study is that people who started early with symptoms of Alzheimer's disease and the disease confirmed biologically by their PET scan or spinal tap, these people saved time, they stayed stable much longer at milder stages of disease than people who were on placebo. So placebo matched group progressed more rapidly to more disabling stages of dementia. So if you catch Alzheimer's disease early, you can do something about it. And just waiting until people get worse and then treating symptoms isn't gonna cut it anymore. Do you know if this drug is going to be approved only for use in Alzheimer's patients or might it include other forms of dementia, Lewy body and the such? So amyloid accumulation is the specific early, early brain change that happens in Alzheimer's disease. In Parkinson's disease, dementia, Lewy body disease, other diseases, there are different proteins that accumulate. So right now, this drug, lecanemab, is specifically for Alzheimer's disease. Whether it has other applications remains to be seen, but that's not really in the forefront. It's treating this big disease. You have to think Alzheimer's is the commonest cause of dementia worldwide. 60 to 80 percent of all dementias are caused by Alzheimer's. And if we can catch people before the dementia phase of the disease by checking whether there's amyloid accumulating, then you can start treatment early and save people time and keep people well for much longer. This is an extraordinary window of hope for a disease that otherwise did not much that have much of that. So congratulations on these uh, findings and uh, the approval of this drug. Dr. Sharon Cohen, neurologist and director of the Toronto Memory Program. Thank you so much.